Well, all right, guys. 160 plus on the parser. And today we're going over one of Mud's market ships again. And it is the Herc Dreadnought Carrier. She was very fun to fly. Quick disclaimer. Links are below. And this is not a meta build. So the phase harmonic phasers are the Herc weapons. We have two dual, two beam arrays, excuse me, up front. They have an interesting proc, so I would follow the link to it. Terran Task Force Phaser Beam Array and Dark Matter Quantum Torpedo with its console. Colony Deflective Dish. Prevailing Innovative Engines. Marsilio Harmonic Warp Core with its Tilly Shield. Tilly Shield that provides shield penetration based on your shield power. And the two piece gives you 120 hull regen. The Triillium Enhanced Omni Directional Beam Array. The Heavy Turret Advanced Inhibiting Phaser Turret. The Omni Directional, a Phasic Harmonic Omni Directional at Lorca's Ambition. This goes with the Quantum Matter Dark Torpedo. That gives me 1% crit chance that can stack up to 25 times. Next up is the Assimilated Module for crit chance, crit severity, weapons power, damage control and control expertise. The Forge Turncoat for crit severity and weapons power. The Phaser Lance for fa plus phaser damage and shield penetration. Bioneural Infusion Circuit for hull capacity and crit severity. Dynamic Power Redistribution Module. Damage Resistance Rating, Directed Energy Damage. It's partner, the Point Defense Bombardier Warhead with projectile damage and crit chance. The two piece together gives you 33% phaser damage directed energy weapon. Then we have the Ordnance Accelerator for the phaser damage mainly on this build. It goes with the heavy turret. The two piece together gives me an additional 10% phaser damage. We have four Spire Vulnerability Locators for crit chance and phaser damage. And Elite Swarmer Fighters, not they fixed them, they're working great. So you don't have to deal with the blue ones anymore. We have a Zatvash Vanity Shield on the ship. Traits. Oh wait, the skill. So I'm still kind of like an escort spec, I would say. So we got for innocuous up first. For crit severity, reduced threat. Beam barrage for 2% beam damage. Operative for crit chance, crit severity. Adaptive offense for crit chance and crit severity. Self-modulating fire. Terran targeting systems for the crit severity. Superior beam training. Inspirational leader. A good day to die. Target rich environment, which gives me a bonus for fire at will and scatter volley that are both on this build withering barrage entwined tactical matrix the runes of our enemy remember you gotta get the last shot in to get this buff best hope of the empire bonus damage and 50,000 temporary hit points Weapon Emitter Overdrive for its accuracy and crit chance. Advanced Targeting System for crit severity. Enhanced Armor Penetration. Enhanced Shield Penetration. Omega Gravision Amplifier. And to help out with cooldowns, Chrono Capacitor. The only special thing here is that I use concentrated firepower for my high yield three.
and my captain is still non-Romulan. So there's only two SROs on this build. That's superior Romulan operatives. Duty officers. Stacking crit chance energy weapons. Stacking crit chance energy weapons. Chance for 35% shield penetration. And two technicians for ox to bat. And my medic for hull regeneration. So, I mean, not much more I can say. It's a, it was pretty fun to fly. And I'm normally, like, against big ships. I'm just not good with them. So, hey, enjoy the run. And uh, as you can see, this ship is just built to last. You know, no cap. Everything on it has to do with beating people down and staying alive. So here's the run, guys. Hopefully you enjoy it. See, the one great thing about doing a broadside build is not the highest DPS you could do, right? But you just knock everything out. <laughs> I mean, she's like lazy and slow but on point kind of like big mama's cooking and those of y'all that are ghetto fab understand what i mean by big mama's cooking because big mama don't move for nobody she gets it all done at her speed when she wants to and it's kind of like the vibe you get from flying this shit i wish they'd let us use three omnis in the back because even though i'm off meta having a turret in the back just to have something to shoot forward is kind of ill man all right so this dude's about to go bye bye real quick one thing about those herc phasers when they hit a target without shields yeah they beat that thing down so i am soul keeper on this chart 160k and change if you launch the game through the epic game launcher there is my supporter creator code and if it's your first time here please consider subscribing leave a like join me in the comments follow me over on twitch i change up on games so just follow me and it'll tell you what game i'm playing peace